This is the last road leading to the town of Severodonetsk, a crucial lifeline that Ukrainians can't afford to lose. On the road, ambulances, armored vehicles, and cars that have been destroyed. This road is very dangerous because uh, on the right side of this road, maybe five, 10 kilometers maximum is Russian artillery, and they try to shell this road every day. This is the governor of Luhansk. He's become a prime target and only travels in armored vehicles. He tells us it will be difficult for Ukrainians to keep control of the city. It is now impossible to announce a possible humanitarian convoy, impossible to announce an evacuation of civilians on this road, because our cars are systematically targeted. These women say there's no way they'll evacuate. They live on this now prized link, and they say they can't wait for Russian troops to arrive. They are pro-Russian, despite all of the shelling. They believe this Ukrainian land where they live should be under Russian control. Please, France, you have to stop this war. I mean, you French have to stop giving arms to the Ukrainians. Further along the artery, the town of Solodar. Russian troops are very close. They even shelled the town that morning, killing this woman. Still, though, there are residents here who do support Russia. We don't care if it's the pro-Russian separatists or the Russians themselves. It's fine either way. We just want peace for our children. Along the road to Severodonetsk, two groups remain, the poor and the pro-Russians.